Hello and welcome to my brand new series of Up the Mariners. Yes, welcome back to the very first episode of Up the Mariners. I'm Wes, and this will be my Let's Play series for Grimsby Town FC. Trying to get Grimsby Town all the way to the Premiership and to win the Champions League with Grimsby Town. I know, a tough task ahead of us. We currently sit in League 2, and we are currently ready to play our first match in Skybet League 2. But before we get there, we'll have a quick look at the squad, we'll have a look at the formation we're going to play, and we'll then get on to our first game against Chesterfield. So let's have a quick look at the team report, we'll have a look at the squad deck to see what sort of uh, players we're looking at, and our strength and depth at the moment. I mean, we, we look okay, I'm going to go with a... A 4 3 one, two. It's a formation I've been uh, playing with for a while. I'll give it a quick go in, in League 2, see how it pans out. But we do have the players to switch things up and go with a 4 4 2 if necessary. We are lacking a little bit in the left-back area. I am looking at trying to uh, bring in a couple of others, either on loan or on free transfers, because we don't have the greatest transfer or wage budget. We've got 87,000 which isn't too bad for League 2, to be fair. And we've got about 2,000 of unused wage budget. Again, not too bad for for League 2. I did try and find a senior affiliate club to try and bring some youth players in on loan, but they couldn't find a suitable club to be linked with. OK, we'll have a look at the squad then. We'll OK, so we've got two goalkeepers, James McEwen. I've, I know of James McEwen quite well. He's played for Grimsby for a, a quite a long time. Other players to be looking out for, I mean, we've got Danny Collins. Danny Collins is a 36-year-old Welsh centre-back. He's been around a while. He's got lots of experience in higher leagues. Played a lot for Rotherham. I think I remember him playing for West Ham a few years ago now when he was in the, I think he was on loan from Sunderland, quite possibly, or Stoke. Might have been Stoke. Yeah, it was Stoke. He was on loan at West Ham for Stoke from Stoke. But yeah, um, like I say, he's a well experienced player. Uh, should serve us well, despite his advancing years. Uh, I have noticed we do have quite a lot of old players in the Grimsby side. Uh, ben Davis again, thirty six. I mean, he he's a good player, uh, but he's thirty six, so he's not going to be able to play every game. Paul Dixon, he's our only left back and he's 30, so we definitely need to sign at least one, if not two more left backs. Uh, looking at the midfield, I mean, we've got Sean McAllister, who's injured, Jamie Osborne, who's injured. I have noticed that we have got quite a few injuries at the moment, so I definitely need to bulk out the midfield, especially if we're playing with three central midfielders. We have got quite a few wingers, so if we do need to switch for, to the uh, 4-4-2, we've got the players to do that. We've got uh, four strikers, Sam Jones, Scott Vernon, who's another old player, uh, Asente, who is currently injured and won't be back for at least six, well, between six weeks and three months, and JJ Hooper. So we've got some promising youngsters and quite a few old players so I think we need to bring in a few more especially midfielders we definitely need to bring in a few more midfielders before we get further on into the season and I will do that behind the scenes after our first game so we'll we'll, we'll move on to the starting 11 for today's match against Chesterfield now the, in the pre-season friendlies I have been playing with a 4-2-3-1 as well as the 4-4-2 and the 4-2-3-1. Sorry, the 4-3-1-2. Th uh, purely because we don't have that many central midfielders. So I have been looking for others. But this 
incorporates the best of what we've got at the moment. Okay, so our starting 11 for the first match against Chesterfield. We are going to go for McEwen in goal, Hall Johnson, Osborne, Clark, and Dixon at the back. With a midfield of Rose and Jones, with Dembele and Woodford at Wolford on the wings. And Jasemi, Jasemini playing just behind Hooper as a poacher. Although he does prefer to play as a target man. But I don't like playing target men up front on their own. Jones is playing out of position because he's normally a advanced midfielder or a shadow striker. But we are struggling for midfielders because they're either injured or we just don't have them. We're going to play on a control mentality, flexible team shape with retained possession, shorter passing, look for overlap, drop deeper, higher tempo and dribbling less because we do struggle. Okay, as you can see, Chesterfield are lining up with a classic 4-4-2. So hopefully we'll be able to exploit the weaknesses in this formation with our 4-2-3-1. And let's get on with the game. I am going to start playing this in 3D and see how it runs. Just so that it's a slight difference between this and my emulating the Master series. A bit short on the highlights front at the moment. 20 minutes in, or oh, looks like we've got a highlight now. Dixon picked up the ball at the back, plays it back to McEwen, who plays it forward, and we lose out. We need to defend better here, and um, we're 1-0 down, and it is looking a bit laggy, so I think we may have to switch back to the 2D and just have the 3D mode for replays. I think we're going to have to do that just so that you're not it's not juddering for you so we'll change that to 2d classic which makes it a little bit easier to follow Dixon with the free kick in and it's just headed straight back out and now Chesterfield are going to break on us and McCune just, from the looks of it it's just dropped the ball and we're 2 0 down. See, it's poor defending at the back from Dixon. And McEwen should have done better with that. So we're 2 0 down. We've had one shot which was on target. We've, got, we've had more possession. We're just not doing anything with it. See if we can do something here. Jones plays it out to Dixon, back into Rose, Gethsemane, into Hooper. Hooper plays it through to Walford. Walford hits it to Dembele, and he's scored. We've got one back. First goal of the season for Dembele. Good assist there from Walford. That's better. That's more like it. Looks like Hooper's picked up a knock. A good finish at close range from Dembele. Oh, and a defensive error puts us 3-1 down. What the hell was going on there? Looked like two defenders and the goalkeeper all going for the same ball. That was ridiculous. It was a nothing cross. Mickey, oh, I don't know what was going on there at the back. A catalogue of errors. And we're back down to being two goals behind. We may be looking for a new goalkeeper. McEwen is on a 6.2 and our only other goalkeeper is a youth keeper who isn't anywhere well he's not even better than McEwen according to my according to my assistant so he he can't be much worse we'll leave it as it is for now hopefully we can create something from the back but no it's just lumped forward I need, maybe I need to put it on shorter passing. Or have I already got it on shorter passing? 
Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got it on short to pass him. And maybe I should turn dribble less off. I've got it on retain position. I'll put it on di be more disciplined as well. See if that makes a difference. See if we can play fairly wider. And put the closing down on a bit more. Because we don't seem to be getting into them very well. Hooper have played it into Gethsemane. Played it back. Jones played it through to Walford. And Walford shoots wide. Oh, it was a save, so we've got a corner. Dembele with the corner and no highlight. That was weird. Well, 60 minutes in. We're still 3-1 down. So, I think... Pretty soon we're going to be making some substitutions. This seems to be better. We seem to be defending a bit better now. Dembele with the ball runs forward. Can he cross it in? He does. And Hooper has scored. Puts us 3-2. Puts it back to 3-2. Despite picking up that knock, he still managed to score. The good ball forward, lump ball forward. Good run from Dembele. A good cross straight onto the boot of Hooper. And now we've got a free kick to defend that's gone straight over. Right, so we'll make some substitutions to try and get this uh, equaliser on the opening day of the season. And now Gethsemane, or G yeah, Gethsemane, however you pronounce it, he's picked up a knock as well. A potential lower leg injury, and he's got a potential foot injury. I'm going to bring him off. I'm going to swap him with Jones. See, we're really, really light in the midfield. And I don't think we have another midfield. Apparently Reese Hall, Reese Hall Johnson can play in midfield. Not very well. I mean, we've got two strikers, two defenders. What's Sam Kelly? He's an attacking midfielder, so he's a winger. So we've got a right back, a centre back, two strikers, and a winger, as well as a goalkeeper on the bench. No central midfielders. Well, Hall Johnson's going to just have to play in central midfield and we'll bring on Ben Davis. And Dixon's not having the best of games, but we haven't got another left back. I think we're going to bring Hooper off and bring Harry Cardwell on. Oh, another striker. So we actually had three strikers on the bench. Right, OK. <clears throat> when we only play with one striker. Work that one out. Some good defending there. A good save. Was that a save or did he hit the post? Who cares, it stayed out. Alright, we just need to defend this corner. Well out by Davis. Can we counter? Hit them on the break. Davis played it forward to Jones. Jones holding up the ball and he's drawn the foul. Seventy three minutes in. We're starting to play a bit better now, we're defending a lot better. Dembele's played well with a goal and an assist. I think he'll be getting man of the match. I think we're gonna make one more change. I think we're gonna bring Danny Collins on and we're gonna bring off Osborne because he's had a terrible game. Just so that we don't concede any more. I don't think we're gonna get this equaliser. But at least we can keep our goal difference just to, to just minus one. I mean, I'm still learning about the squad and where who plays well where and what we need going forward. And it looks like that's going to be it. Yeah, it's a 3-2 loss on the opening day of the season. We did well to get back to 3-2. And I'm not going to be overly harsh with the players because we weren't favourites there. So...
hopefully we've got Preston in the Carabao Cup as our next game, which I'm not too bothered about at this stage. Cups are not really what I'm bothered about. I want to get us promoted. Might not be this season, but certainly within the next two seasons I want to be getting promoted into League One. So going forward, I think we need we definitely need at least one or two left backs. We need more central midfielders. I think we need to try and move on some of the strikers because we've got far too many strikers. If we're only going to be playing with one or two, we don't need that many. Potentially a new goalkeeper. I mean, McEwen had a better, better game second half. But I think we need more strength in depth in goal, definitely. Because the backup keeper is just uh, a kid, and he's not gonna, he's not gonna be able to play, and we're gonna end up losing games. If McEwen gets injured, we're screwed. So if we have a look at the schedule, see where we're gonna come back. I'm gonna play the Preston game and the three games up, four games after that, because I'm not bothered about the Checker Trade Trophy. It's just a Mickey Mouse Cup. I think we'll come back for the. Crew game just after the transfer windows closed, so you can have a look, see what signings we've made, and then see where we go from there. So, if you like that, please give it a big thumbs up. Please like and subscribe for more Football Manager 18 videos. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, hey, hey!